I have already released a video talking about my top 10 NFL picks on sides and totals for week 4. None of them concern the Cowboys-Giants game, but that doesn't mean I don't have some leans about this key NFC East matchup. In this video, I will tell you about a couple of potential bets that I am tempted to make. Here's the problem though. My numbers are telling me that those two wagers are good, but my mind does not like it. Let me explain. My own analysis of the game tells me the Cowboys should roll in this game. They are coming off a couple of ugly contests, so this could be a get-right game. There will be less pressure playing on the road, rather than facing the prospect of getting booed by their home crowd. I also like the fact that they did not give up after trailing 28-6 against the Ravens. They scored three touchdowns in the fourth quarter to make it interesting, but they failed short. After the game, star wide receiver C.D. Lamb acknowledged he must have a better attitude when things go wrong. He should be focused tonight. On New York's side, QB Daniel Jones is playing better, but he's facing a lot of pressure due to poor offensive line play. He is likely to be under the rest very often against a mad Cowboys defense. Before the season began, I had read that rookie Malik Nabbers would be the focal point of the offense. So far, he hasn't been the focal point of the offense. He's been the whole offense all by himself. During the course of the past two games, he was targeted 30 times, while the second most targeted guy was thrown to on 12 occasions only. That's a big gap. While that's great, it makes the Giants too predictable. Dallas will certainly double-team Nabbers and dare the Giants to beat them with another guy. But the problem is, they don't have any other playmaker on offense. So, based on all I've said so far, you would think I would be jumping on the Cowboys. But one big thing worries me a lot. The point spread is too high. Dallas is established as a 6-point favorite on the road. This type of line should be for elite teams facing a weak opponent. But the Cowboys don't appear to be an elite team at all. Sure, they have Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. The other wide receivers are okay, but nothing more. The running game has been non-existent, as shown by the fact that they have rushed for the third fewest yards in the NFL this year. In other words, Dallas is one-dimensional and they don't have a ton of weapons in the passing game. Granted, the Cowboys have owned the Giants in recent years. Indeed, they have won 13 of the past 14 meetings. That includes destroying the Giants on their home turf 40-0 last year. Don't you think the Giants will be motivated to make up for such an ugly loss? They'll want to take advantage of the fact that Dallas is reeling right now. So, for all of these reasons, even though most of my analysis is indicating to bet Dallas, I am leaning towards the Giants with the extra 6 points. It won't be easy for Dallas to win this match by a margin of 7 plus points. The sharpest sportsbook in the world, Pinnacle, also points in the direction of betting New York. They have Dallas minus 6 points at plus 107 odds versus New York plus 6 points at minus 120 odds. That tells me that grabbing the Giants plus 6 points at minus 110 odds, which is the case with a few bookies right now, is the correct play. Another line caught my eye. The Giants team total which is set at 19.5 points. Again, Pinnacle has the over set at minus 131 odds versus plus 112 on the under. They are telling us that the over is much more likely to hit. Still, a bookie like Betway currently offers to grab the over at minus 115 odds, which is a bargain. Again, my mind does not like the bet that much, but the numbers are saying yes. 
and the revenge factor is also saying yes. So, in summary, if I was forced to bet sides and totals in the Thursday night game, I would take a small stab on the Giants' full game spread at plus 6 points, along with New York's team total to go over 19.5 points. However, the most profitable bet in the NFL remain the famous proposition bets, where you can bet on the performance of specific players, like Will C.D. Lamb catch over or under 6.5 passes? This is where I've made the vast majority of my money in the NFL since 1999. If you wish to receive in your mailbox my top 3 prop bets for tonight, simply follow the link in the comments section below. If those picks lead to a losing record, you get your investment back. So what have you got to lose? I'm Professor MJ, let's crush the bookies together, my friend!